So let's see, oh my God, this cannot be right. Welcome to this glorious rainy day here in the desert. Ah, oh, it is beautiful. How's it going everyone? You're watching the Green Dream Project Gym here. And I hope you can hear me because there's so much going on over here. <laughs> it's been raining off and on throughout the night. We got up, it's still raining. It's beautiful. It didn't take long at all before everything started filling up. The first flush tanks were filled up like that. The water tanks, I mean, it probably hasn't rained now in a few weeks. So we've been drawing water from those uh, main tanks since then. Now they're full again, just like that. <laughs> How many times am I gonna snap at you? But it's beautiful to see and it's so good. I'm glad that we could get a little bit more water to fill up these tanks, but it's overflowing. We don't have enough storage capacity for all this rain we're getting. And believe me, living in an off-grid homestead like this, living off of rainwater, we'll need as much as we can get. So right away when I got up this morning, I hooked up our pump to the main tanks and I'm filling up our IBC tote for the wash basins. I figure, might as well spread the water wherever we can. Woo! So I'll try and show you very quickly here before the camera gets too wet. But we can't pump it out fast enough for the overflow to stop overflowing. It's still coming out. We're still gonna be losing a little bit of water, but at least we'll be able to get some of this water other places. We'll also try and get some in the trailer as well, as much as we can. Hurry up and poop and get back. <laughs> this is crazy exciting. I always geek out over a storm. I just love seeing it. When you're living off of rainwater, just getting so much of an abundance, it's such a blessing. It's so good to see it. Just, it fills me with ab so much absolute joy. And I'm getting wet. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind getting a little wet for the sake of collecting that water. Yee! Of course, you can see the way I'm keeping the hose in place while I pump water into this IBC tote. Hey, but whatever works, am I right? But it still takes a while though. This pump is it's not the fastest. It'll get the job done. But I'd say we still have over 100 gallons we can put in this thing. Woo! All right, so just cause checking on the weather apps, we could be getting rain up till 6 p.m. today. Just from the looks around, it looks like it could be true. I mean, clouds are everywhere. But we gotta keep our energy use low, by the way, because our energy production is probably not gonna be that high today. I already switched the refrigerator in there from electricity to propane, just to conserve a little bit. It's good to have that option, just in case. We'll see how the day goes. The IBC tote over here for the wash basin is almost full. Next, I'm gonna fill up the trailer and just like try and just fill up as much things as possible while we can. Yeah, so the tote is full now. At least as much water as I want to put in. I don't want things overflowing. So now, I'm going to take the hose out of there, get it into the trailer, let's fill this thing up, and just get it things as full as possible. All right, I moved the hose from the IBC toad into the trailer as quickly as possible, because even though the pump's not on, uh, gravity will still feed the water through the pump and uh, out the hose. I don't want to lose any water even though we're, we're getting some. So I'm going to start the pump, get this thing filled. It should be a few minutes and then it'll be full. I don't know what to do with the water after that. <laughs> Trying to get as much of this water as we can. And if I have to, I'll just fill up even the plastic jugs. Get whatever little bit we can. I know it's kind of crazy, but after filling up those plastic jugs, I've been going around filling up our glass jugs as well. Just trying to get every last bit of water I can. <laughs> I'd say I probably pumped close to 150 gallons between the IBC tote, the trailer, and all the jugs. And the rain's starting to come down a little heavier now, so let's see how long it takes before we start overflowing on the main tanks again. 
<laughs> Man, you hear that? It is coming down again hot. You gotta love it. I guarantee you that IBC tote is full again. I don't think it's gonna be long enough before we see overflow coming out of that pipe. Oh, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it didn't take long. With all that pumping and all that draining from the first flush tank, all that pumping from the main tanks, within minutes, that tank is overflowing again. Ah, we need to definitely add more storage to this. You know, if we're gonna try and do as much off of rainwater as possible, we can't afford to be letting all this water just flow out of the main tanks like that. But we'll get it. We're gonna get it eventually. <sighs> Soon. The rain is really coming down now, fast and furious. I'm expecting to see the rock and Jason Statham around any minute now. Water is flowing out of that pipe like crazy. Woo! I don't know why I'm channeling Ric Flair all of a sudden. <laughs> I guess it's all the rain. It's getting me excited, it's getting me excited. All that water, all that beautiful water. I can't wait to check the rain gauge and see how much we got. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. The storm is coming down heavy. I don't know if we've ever seen it quite this hard yet. From what I've been hearing, there's a hurricane that's been sweeping through. It's affecting the rains here. This overflow has been going now for most of the day. Water is absolutely everywhere out here. We're at maximum capacity on our storage and it's still coming down. This is crazy. Ah. <laughs> I can't get a decent shot anywhere over here. You probably won't be able to see this. I wish I could get this camera up close, but we are now overflowing at the Hacienda tote. For sure we are at maximum capacity now. Oh man, this is crazy. That little roof over there over the Hacienda has given us over 500 gallons of water. It's crazy. Rainy day and let's all get cozy, am I right? Well, there's been a break in the rain. Clouds are still there, but uh, so you never know. We could still get some rain today, but man, it's been a wild ride so far today. But the question is, what is the grand total? What did we get for rain during that huge storm? I'm gonna go check out the rain gauge right now. You see, I'm braving the raging rapids just for you. All right, so. <laughs> so let's see, oh my God, this cannot be right. This cannot be right. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm seeing it and I don't believe it. Okay, uh, man, what? So <laughs> it's been raining uh, since last night and most of today. Let me show you what the gauge says. <laughs> Do you see this? Two and a half inches of rain. My goodness, what? This is the desert, right? I ain't complaining. <laughs> Two and a half inches. Ah! Man, I can't get over the clouds over these mountains. Just beautiful. It's like the clouds are just reaching up and over and crawling over the mountains. Check this out. Yeah, I don't know if you can believe that, but I certainly can. Two and a half inches. That is absolutely mind blowing. I don't know if we've ever gotten that much in like a storm session. I guarantee you we've broken the records as far as we've been keeping track of it. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we're, we're well on our way to uh, beating our average for the year. This is absolutely incredible. Two and a half inches. The amount of rain that we're getting is staggering. We could easily fill another couple of 
full-size tanks like we have over there. We definitely need to get more storage out here for our off-grid homestead. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna get it done eventually. We've definitely got over 5,000 gallons worth of storage right now. I'd say about maybe 5,500 gallons, maybe more, worth of storage altogether. <laughs> we're at maximum capacity. Thanks for joining us. This is so exciting. We really appreciate it. Definitely catch us on our next video or our live. We've been trying to go live every Saturday in the evening around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Definitely check us out. And as always, you can catch us on the next video at the same off-grid time with the same off-grid channel. All right, we'll catch you on the next video, everyone. Bye. I had to put a new shirt on because I was soaked. I was soaked from running around here. <laughs> All right. I'm freezing out here. It's probably like 60 degrees. All right, later, everyone. Bye.